It's been just over two years since Officer Michael V. Lansdorf was shot and killed in the line of duty. Today, Missouri Governor Mike Parson signing a bill to name a part of I-55 in his honor. The act bringing a small sense of happiness to Officer Langsdorf's family. Senate Bill 520 was signed by Missouri Governor Mike Parson on Wednesday. It designates portions of state highways as memorials for first responders killed in the line of duty. That includes retired St. Louis Police Captain David Dorn and Officer Michael Langsdorf. His parents say this helps with healing. I have butterflies all inside of me. I'm very excited that this is happening. I met with the Langsdorfs, Missouri Representative David Gregory and Charles Metzner of the St. Louis Hero Network before they drove together to Jefferson City for the signing, which will make the bridge at I-55 in Butler Hill, Police Officer Michael V. Langsdorf Memorial Bridge. Every time we drive down Butler Hill now and all of our neighbors and any friends that live down here, they will be able to see Michael's name. It has always been our goal that he is not forgotten. Missouri Representative David Gregory filed the bill for the Langsdorf Memorial. I asked how quickly it can be put up. We'll move pretty swiftly. It's something that's very important to me. I know it's very important to the state too. Uh, when these police officers like Michael Langsdorf make the ultimate sacrifice, it's something that we want to show them a big thank you. So uh, it's the least we can do. We'll be working with the Department of uh, Transportation to get the sign uh, constructed and then erected. St. Louis firefighter and founder of the St. Louis Hero Network, Charles Metzner, came up with the idea and raised money for the sign. He says he has become family with the Langsdorfs. We were able to raise approximately $4,000 to get the sign paid for from MoDOT, and that came from the community. That's the kind of community we live in, a community that gets behind things it believes in. Michael's mother, Beth, says it hasn't gotten easier dealing with the death of her son, but this kind of acknowledgement of her son goes a long way, and she also has started recognizing other memorials on highways. As I go by, I say a prayer for that person and their family, and we're hoping that, you know, people will do that for Michael, too and the family. The Langsdorfs live just a few minutes away from the Butler Hill exit on I-55, where the bridge will now be named in their son's honor. It provides a sense of comfort in their son's absence. Now that sign costs about $4,000, which we told you was raised by the St. Louis Hero Network. That's taken care of and moving forward, MoDOT will now erect and maintain that sign.